We are live from Atlanta, Georgia's Dirty South Town. And I noticed they've cleaned this place up a bit. Yeah, I remember finding a lot more severed fingers in my chili last time. And there were fewer bodies to step over in the men's room. Place is kind of losing its character. I miss the shit sandwiches. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Mile High Chronic take on the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I'm off. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Mutants I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Ow! Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Oh, oh, va, 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 boom. And it's first and ten. run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. First and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. Huge pass play for one yard. down and nine. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. now a pickup of eight on the play second down and two and he's just called a sticky ball dirty trick and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble <laughs> he's trying to throw the ball grip but it keeps coming Third down and nine. And he picks up four on that passing catch. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It's good. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. Man, these guys have, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Now this one's gonna be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. 
I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too mutilated. Straight through the uprights. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. One, hot two. Second down and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called. The kick is good! Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Then I'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Second and three. Hit. And it's first and ten. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down and six. I'm gonna say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Hot one, two. Rumble for nine on that play. 
And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a rip. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. First down. And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh. Welcome to the great range. How can I help you? Yeah, take it. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, this scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Three. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> you know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. rainbow and he's gonna oh he just got crushed <laughs> and it's first and ten in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And Chainsaw's really in the way of
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Well, that play didn't work. He'll have to rethink that. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. No receivers open, so the QB just threw the ball away. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And they'll line up for the punt here. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Brick shit, and there's an eight yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. <laughs> they go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was! The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. <laughs> and the 
And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. is important. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he picks up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Bigassian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Now it looks like he 
wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Third down and nine. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. The runner pulls out a There's no reason to go. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. They just went zebra hunting, and it looks like they got their trophy. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down in a sliver. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Punched his way out of that tag. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Huh? Oh, my God! The defensive player looks like he's... Oh, man, Brooks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And the offense retains possession. It's two-yard run before he stopped. <laughs> And that'll be second and eight to go. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. Yeah, if he doesn't, they're gonna split his skull wide open. This is the kick. Man, his teammates are going to flog him when he gets back to the sideline. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. the foot. 
football. First down. And it's first and ten. point attempt. First and ten. Second down and a lot. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Seven. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Third down and nine. Oh no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I pictured that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And that'll be a touchback. I don't feel comfortable giving a massage while we're broadcasting, Grim. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And avoid rage, because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? Third down and ten. Don't you just love the 
sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and five. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God, I gotta take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. And it's first and ten. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Caught for the first down. And it's first. Timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Okay, nice and easy like a 
two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get the Vultures whip away defeated. Yeah, they look so sad, Grim. I kind of feel sorry for them. They deserve a participation award. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. I Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.